Initially, I was inspired to pursue a degree in educational leadership because of my love for the campus environment and witnessing growth in students, which for me began in the student union at UW Oshkosh. My primary network of support were my co-workers and supervisors who served as mentors in my role as a building manager. I soon discovered my passion for helping others and completed my undergraduate degree in human services in January of 2010. Since I entered the educational leadership program, I have assumed two major leadership positions. For one year, I served as a graduate assistant for Greek life and underground programs, and this past year, I served as a graduate assistant for Reeve Union Board and General Leadership. Two theories that have guided my practice include Lewin's change management model and Sergio Vanni's concept of feeling and emotion in leadership, which have helped tremendously in my ability to guide students through the transitions associated with college life. I have come to realize that some of the best ways of guiding organizational change are to continually look toward the future of the field by remaining current of the literature and maintaining contact with other professionals, a concept which was emphasized highly in the curriculum course. I have learned the importance of maintaining communication by addressing questions and concerns from staff and students as soon as possible. The best way I have found of engaging students has been to involve them in the planning process for campus activities, which provides them with a sense of vested pride and increases their level of commitment. The major growth I have experienced in this area includes that now I have begun to not only attend multicultural speakers and events myself, but have also encouraged students and my co-workers to do the same. In addition, I am highly more aware of the multicultural resources which are available on our campus and in the greater community. Authors such as Caffarella, Razik, and Swanson have taught me the importance of interactive program planning, forward thinking, and adaptability of leaders in an ever-increasingly global world wherein new technologies are continuously changing the ways by which we communicate and share information. In some way, learning always results in change. Although we may not realize it at the time, change is positive in that it presents us as leaders with new challenges to approach and overcome. When seeking a solution to a problem, it can prove valuable to create a focus group for receiving input from a variety of constituents who bring diverse perspectives and experiences to the planning table. As a graduate advisor, no student who had an interest in participating was turned away from membership of the committees I advised. I encouraged my students to develop a more succinct form for attendees to evaluate our programming, and each program we produced was assessed on multiple levels. Diversity is real, and perceived differences therefore should not be disregarded. It can be okay to ask questions, if they are approached in an appropriately sensitive way in order to produce a more accommodating and welcoming environment. In instances where there is a question of judgment or I run into a situation I have never dealt with, I do not hesitate to consult the literature or talk through possible courses of action with colleagues. I constantly consider methods I might utilize to improve my practice. I encourage the students I speak with 
to pursue learning that is personally meaningful, to pursue a career path that is enjoyable and will provide them with a sense of fulfillment and knowing at the end of the day that they have done their best, just as I have felt in pursuing my graduate degree to make a difference in the lives of undergraduate students who may be lacking a clear sense of direction. Currently, I am pursuing employment opportunities within student affairs and community programming. My hope is to one day advance to assistant director or director, perhaps within a student union, as I gain more full-time experience. I am also taking into consideration the possibility of pursuing a doctoral degree program. I have benefited from the educational leadership program in many ways. It has increased my knowledge, my self-confidence, my ability to recognize biases and to utilize my strengths.